Hi everyone, today um, we are going to take a look at how to create a style. So the question comes, why do we need styles? Well, because so far what we did in the last video is only applies to one button. And we can't reuse it if we want to reuse for a different button we had to copy and paste or rewrite all over again but um, <clears throat> when we create a style we only write it once then we can apply all the buttons on the window or even we can make it an application resource and we can use for all the different forms that we have in the window but for this, for the purpose of this video, we are just going to create a style within this main window, and it's going to apply to all the buttons inside our main window. So the way we do that, <clears throat> we're going to uh, let me do a quick recap on the last time. We have uh, overridden the default template and we create a custom template, button template. We added our uh, control template with border, new border brush with gradient colors, uh, content presenter inside the border again, and then we add triggers. Triggers will do the job of uh, events with mouse over and uh, button click. All right, so let's start with uh, our style. First thing we need to add a window resources tag and close it. Next, we're going to need a style tag. Give it a key. The reason we need a key, we need because we have to refer to this key um, inside the buttons that we create. Okay, so I named it as my button style. You can say my custom button style. Doesn't matter. And we need to give it a target type, which is bingo button. Next, we need to add a setter. Um, we need a property called template close and next setter value all right so basically that's that's it three four lines of code now we can cut and paste anything inside the control template including the control template and uh, paste into our new style okay I think the one thing that may be different from last video this target type wasn't there we need this target type uh, I know it's a little bit redundant but still we need that when we do a style now we can remove this button template. As you can see, our button went back to the original form when we first started. Um, now, let's apply the new style we created. And the way we do that, we open the style and we will say dynamic resource and it tells us helps us here. With the key, we give the key, and voila, our button still works. Let's um, run it and see in action. Click, mouse over, click. So it's, as you can see, they still work. All right. So the beauty or let's say the benefit of this, now we can create multiple buttons and we can apply the same style. Let's see that um, 
briefly. Let's actually drag and drop a button here. Uh, let's get a height and width. And then make it same as the other one. And last but not least, our style. Dynamic resource is right there. Let's increase the font size. The font size is local to the button, so we didn't put that in style. All right, so that's in a nutshell you do styles only takes a few minutes once you have your template ready um, the way you like it you can turn it into a style and then you can apply to all the window all the buttons inside your window I'll probably make another video how to do it as a application resource in which case you can apply the same style to multiple windows if you have your if your application is more than one window then you can uh, go that route all right thanks for tuning in uh, please subscribe bye bye now